Hello gracious ones, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Grace and I'm glad to have you here. If you're seeing this face for the first time, you're blessed. <laughs> so I'm just, today I just want to talk about something that has reoccurred over time from the video I did about mistakes you should avoid as international students. I got a lot of people asking me questions like so which course should i choose um i want to study this course is it the right course <laughs> and all oh, anyway so basically that's why i'm doing this video okay so let me not waste your time you know how we do it we'll move right into the video and i'll take it from there <laughs> welcome to my channel once again like i said based on repetitive questions about what the right choice of course is so if you see me look down i'm just trying to stare into my laptop to make sure i'm giving you the accurate information so basically when people ask me about the courses they want to study i i respond as much as i can give them links to check out but I can't tell you that any course is bad. No course is actually bad. But when I say the right course, you're looking for a course whereby when you're done, you are able to get something as quick as possible. And also a course that it's really needed in the UK at the moment, if you're coming to the UK, of course. So the easiest way is to go to any search engine, Google, Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, anyone, you know, and type in something like best courses in 2022 in uk or if you just type in courses in high demand in uk 2022 and i'm sure you will see a couple of courses pop up but another thing another way you can really look at it is to look at the uk shortage of patient list like i i keep mentioning to some of those who come to me asking questions in the comment section i i refer them to the uk shortage of patient list and i felt okay what if some people don't even know what this list is all about? I think I should talk about it. So basically, I'm just going to run you through the UK shortage of patient list because the list there are like list of jobs that you need to get skilled work in the UK. So it's not just as um, coming through students, um, coming as a student with the use of student visa that you can come into the UK. You can also come in as a skilled worker. And for you to come in as a skilled worker, most of the jobs you're going to be applying for are these jobs that are in shortage. These occupations that are in the shortage of patient list. Because those are the jobs that they don't have sufficient people in that occupation to carry out the responsibilities needed in the UK. So they are sourcing for more hands across different countries. So it gives you room from your different countries to be able to apply for these jobs. If you have it and you have companies who, willing, who are willing to take you, they will send you what is called the COS, Certificate of Sponsorship, with which you can get your visa and come over to work here in that particular field where there is shortage so we're going to run through the shortage of patient list together and maybe you'll be lucky enough to see that your own profession is even on the list and so that gives you another edge another room to try some other means of navig nav navigating <laughs> to find some other means of migrating to the uk other than coming in as a student and then even if you are one if you have decided to come in as a student then you now know those courses are really needed those occupations that are hot cake you know highly needed and then you can use that to strategically choose your course of study so let's go together to the gov.uk website and look at the shortage of patient list i will try to mention the names in case maybe somebody is watching this video I'm not particularly looking at the screen to see what I'm, I'm I'm scrolling through and reading through. At least you can hear every course, every occupation when I mention it, but I might not read everything. And some of these occupation, are, this shortage of patients are in a particular part of the UK. You know, the UK, which is the United Kingdom, has four different countries in it. You have the you have England, you have Scotland, you have Wales, and you have the Northern Ireland. So some of the occupation are short in maybe one country in the UK, not in another. Although most of them are across board. So I was so when you do that, it's good to also check across to be sure that yes, 
It's yes, 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 yes for all countries. For example, the first one, health services and public health managers and directors, all jobs. It's yes, 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 meaning it is needed across the entire UK. Okay? The next is residential day and domiciliary care managers and proprietors. This one is also needed across the whole UK. Then we have chemical scientists. Only jobs in the nuclear industry are needed and they are needed just in Scotland. So that's how you check where and where they are needed. For us not to waste so much time on this video, I won't be calling the countries in the UK where it is needed. But all I will be doing is mentioning it. Um, that's the occupation and then you can always check. I will also do something. I'm going to drop the link to this shortage occupation list in the description box below. So you can click on it afterwards and do your research. Take your time to download and understand and make your decision. Okay? So let's go. So we have biological scientists and biochemists. We have physical scientists. Only the following jobs in the construction related ground engineering industry. That is, we have engineering geologists, we have hydrogeologists, we have geophysicists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I think I got that. Then we have physical scientists, um, we have geophysicists, geoscientists, geologists, geochemists. Technical Services Manager in the decommissioning and waste areas of the nuclear industry. We have Senior Resource Geologists and Staff Geologists in the mining sector. We have the Social and Humanity Scientists. Only the Archaeologists are needed in this section. We have the Civil Engineers, Mechanical Engineers, Electrical Engineers, Electronics Engineers, Design and Development Engineers, Production and Process Engineers, Engineering professionals, not elsewhere classified, all jobs. IT business analysts, architects and system designers, programmers and software development professionals, all jobs. Web design and development professionals, all jobs. Information technology and communication professionals, not elsewhere classified, only cyber security specialists. Veterinarians, actuaries, economists and statisticians, only bioinformaticians and informaticians. Hmm. I hope I don't bite my tongue today. Architects, all jobs. Quality control and planning engineers, all jobs. Laboratory technicians, all jobs. Artists, all jobs. Dancers and choreographers, only skilled classical ballet dancers or skilled Contemporary dancers will meet the standard required by internationally recognized UK ballet or contemporary dance companies. Okay, so there is a condition. The company must be endorsed as being internationally recognized by a UK industry body such as the Arts Council of England, Scotland or Wales. We also have musicians, but only skilled orchestral musicians who are leaders principal, sub-principal, or number string position, and will meet the standard required by internationally recognized UK orchestras, okay? Then you have art officers, producers, and directors. We have graphic designers. We have welding trades. We have senior care workers, all jobs. Then I'm sure if you were very, very, very conversant on YouTube, you would have been seeing all those Healthcare assistant jobs without qualification, healthcare um, jobs, different healthcare jobs, different medical jobs, different stuff, you know, support jobs and all. These are because they are in shortage, they are in shortage of patient list and they are in another way of migrating from your home country into the UK. So we have medical practitioners, psychologists, pharmacists, medical radiographers, health professionals, not elsewhere classified. Looks like I'm singing, right? <laughs> Physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech and language therapists, nurses, secondary education teaching professionals, only teachers in maths, physics, science, where an element of physics will be taught, computer science and the modern foreign languages. Secondary education teaching professionals, primary and nursery education teaching professionals, social workers, Paramedics, nursing auxiliaries and assistants. We have the shortage of patients which are otherwise not eligible for the skilled worker routes. Okay. 
and under this place we have the care workers and the home carers yeah basically that's it so i think with this we've covered the list and that should help and guide you as you make your decisions and so i'm going to see you in the next video remain safe stay blessed and remain graceful bye bye